Okay, uh, my goal today is, is I wanted to try to get, use the clippers to carve in between the, the colors on this one. Um, but the thing I, I, I know other people do it by hand, and I just don't like the unevenness of it when people do it by hand. So I'm trying to see if I can use this uh, guide and this unit, which does a good job of it, trimming it, and just turn this at a 45 degree angle and then you know go around here and see if it does uh, if it cuts it even and then I'd go ahead and turn it to a, the other 45 degree angle to do the other side but okay so let's get this thing twisted and then we'll give this a shot and see if it works All right. And up, get this thing to spin. Okay. I'm trying to get it up. <laughs> this is gonna get all crazy. I can tell that already. I think. I don't know. It could work. I guess. We're gonna find out. This rug was just a test rug, anyways. Okay, well we're going to give that a shot and see what happens. Your guess is as good as mine. Like I said, I just made this little test rug just to see what's going on. Let me get this foot in. Okay. Okay. I guess okay. Let's see what we got. Hold on, I've got that too, too low. It's going to take out too much rug. So I'm going to back it off a little bit. Yeah, we'll try that first. Okay. Okay, well that would be one side of the V, so I'm, I'm going to spin this thing the other way, and then we'll do it again. Alright, alright. Okay, now I've got this thing spun, so it's 45 degrees the other way. Still at the same depth, um, I used this as a guide to put it at the same depth. But let's see what we got this time. Vacuum's going to get loud. Okay, let's see what we've got here. All right. You can see we've got the little nice V. Um, I like it. Definitely something I'm going to continue experimenting with. But it 
it just lets me know that it's going in at a the same depth. Like I said, my steering could have been better. Like here and stuff. Um, but I'm liking the results. I would think with this, I'm going to go ahead and probably put it down into the rug. Just another eighth of an inch. And let's try that. All right. Okay, we still got the 45 degree angle there. And um, I did take it down an eighth of an inch. And all I've been using is this blue band as my marker. And um, so now we've taken it down an eighth of an inch. And let's give it a shot and see what we have this time. Okay, I'm not sure. It might have, I might have taken it down too deep. But let's get this vacuumed up. Okay, again, now I'm going to spin it the other way and see what we get. Wait a minute, what am I doing? Okay, and again, I'm using that blue reference point as my depth. And I had it about right there, right at the top of the blue. Kind of looks 45 degrees, so let's go with that and give it a shot. I think I've got it too deep into the rug. It just seemed to be shaving more than I was hoping for, I guess. But I won't know until I make this other cut, so let's get her done. Vacuum, loud noise. Okay. Yeah, I'm not liking it. <laughs> I'm not liking it at all.
Well, I liked it better. Okay, yeah, I do. Wait a minute. Hold on. Nice fat. This is fine at that depth. This is not. This went too far. So, what I would do is take this back up. We found out that that was too deep. Right about there. Give that a shot here. I'm going to do it in this little section right here. Things pretty loud, I agree. Okay, now see that depth. I like it. It's just my steering is a little off, <laughs> but um, I like the little car. There's a little dimension to it. There, I should have trimmed it closer. But anyways, I don't know if there's any benefit to that or not, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to try it by hand without the base and see what that does. All right. All right, let's give this a shot by hand. God, I hate this. I don't have a stable hand. I don't do it. I don't, I don't know how to do it. Okay, so I can tell you like right here, I like this a lot better, just doing it by hand. You get a better feel for it, it's probably easier to follow your lines, I'm not sure, because I got off here some, got off there some. So, uh, my conclusion to this experiment is that with practice, to make sure you're getting your lines done right, just simply doing it by hand gives a better result than the contraption I tried to piece together there with my with my base. So anyways, that's just my personal experience with that idea. Um, I'm going to go ahead and on some of these I'm going to go ahead and try to carve them after some practice. Alright, take care.